haven't okay. seen it before. Hello. Hi. Well, we're on. Good <laughs> afternoon, everybody, and welcome into the St. John's County Show that's on in the afternoon. <laughs> We got a great show to end the week. Oh, such a good one. I'm excited about this I one. I am yeah. very excited to talk to Trey Staker again. He does the Wings and Wheels car show. Yeah. I got to tell you, I went out to this last year, took the godson out there. Yep. Loved it. I mean, both of us had such a great time. We were out there all day long. Um, and it was just, it was an amazing experience. It you really were does. bragging was. about some exotic Joker car. Just Dude, so, yeah. they just, they had, they had so many cars. I mean, awesome. from domestic vehicles to like, they had Lamborghinis out no there way. and Maseratis. I mean, it was, uh, it was really cool to see. I mean, Trey really puts on a good show. Cool. So, uh, we are going to talk to him about that when you can expect to go out to the airport and see this mm -hmm. and experience it for yourself. Um, it's just a great day. It's a great event, man. Awesome. Uh, so we'll talk to him about that. And of course, we've got your horoscopes. We'll catch you up on events and get you out of here on some memes today. Yeah, we'll get you through it. All right, man. <laughs> uh, before we do that, I will uh, remind you of our favorite local car dealership, and that is Bozard Ford Lincoln. Been around since 1949. Family dealership, more than just uh, dealership. They are a family-owned beacon of trust right here in St. Augustine. They were founded on the principles of honesty, integrity, and community service, and that Bozard family tradition continues to thrive through generations. They've got that state-of-the-art service facility, 91 climate-controlled service bays out there, a quick lane for no appointment needed maintenance, just pop in, pop out, you're done. And uh, you can always enjoy the comforts of their customer lounge, as well as the unique flavors of Ford's garage while you're out there. They're the proud recipients of the Triple Crown Award, and named Florida's Dealer of the Year by Dealer Raider. Their team is dedicated to providing an enjoyable and efficient experience. Bozard Ford Lincoln, they offer the best in pricing, selection, and service right out there off 95 and State Road 16, where your satisfaction is their mission, and they are driven to inspire. Also, our friends at the Bailey Group, uh, getting enrolled in a health insurance or Medicare plan does not have to be complicated. In fact, it can be quite the opposite. At the Bailey Group, you're going to work with a local insurance advisor to find just the right insurance coverage for your specific needs and your budget. Their goal is to make getting covered simple. No added costs, no extra fees. The Bailey Group handles individual health and Medicare, corporate benefits, and financial needs for their clients. Give them a call. Let them do that for you. 904-461-1800. Speaking of a family on Beacon of Trust, mm -hmm. it's them right there too, man. And also our friends at Elace Med Spa. If you're looking for a relaxing and rejuvenating experience, who's not, especially this time of year? Right. Look no further than Elace Med Spa. At Elace, they specialize in providing their clients with a range of luxurious spa treatments and advanced medical aesthetic procedures. Whether you're looking to unwind with a hydrofacial or enhance your natural beauty with things like Botox, dermal fillers, laser treatments, body contouring, all that stuff, uh, all that, there's great services and a whole lot more. Say hello to my little laser. Okay, That's there what you they go. say, yeah, it's very okay. good. Oh, do they? 65% <laughs> off the of laser treatments, <laughs> yes. Check out their socials, they're amazing. We love metal lace. I would have gone with sharks with lasers on oh, their heads. We can do that one. We'll try that one, Tracy. <laughs> All right, Tracy, there's your new line. <laughs> That's what you want to think of. Yeah. Sharks when you're going in for skincare. Well, you maybe know. don't adopt that one, Tracy. <laughs> maybe you, maybe you skip all my suggestions. Actually, uh, Alace is the place that'll save your face. The dream team on the beauty scene without sharks. <laughs> uh, check about it, Elace. Dot com. Love them. That's awesome. They are great, man. <laughs> always fun talking to them, too. And always fun uh, talking to Trey Staker. Trey, welcome yeah. back, man. Good to have you back in studio. Good to be here, guys. Yeah, man. So uh, talk to me. I, I just want to tell people real quick about why you started getting into the car show world. I mean, yeah. you're a guy who's obviously you got to be a car enthusiast, right? So how did this whole concept of wings and wheels come together? Honestly, I've always wanted to fly, obviously. My whole okay. family's been big into aviation for a long time. Oh, all right. And then the other side of my family's big into cars. So it was kind of a no-brainer when I wanted to partner the two together. And mm -hmm. they're two fantastic communities. I want to see them grow together. And I feel like bringing them together is going to be an awesome way to bring up the next generation into both. Okay. So did you grow up always going to car shows and like learning about them? Or is this something that Eureka, it happened one time you went to a car show and you're like, I got to do this. What was the journey like hmm. there? Uh, so my grandfather's been building cars since I was a little kid. Um, we used to go to the Turkey Rod Run down in Daytona all the time sure. when he lived down here. And that was really what sparked my interest and everything like that. So 
he's been huge into the classic car scene for a very long time. Cool. And so last year was your first Wings and Wheels, yes, correct? Sir. How did you, how did that go from your perspective? Like I said, I went to it, took the Godson. It was great from our perspective. How was it for the first event for you? And what did you learn from that one to make this year's even better? Uh, last year we were separated. Obviously the cars and aircraft were separated. Oh yeah, and right. you saw that. Yep. Um, this year we're gonna be putting both together on the tarmac. It's right. gonna be awesome. We're gonna be able to expand hopefully the airplane uh, grouping as mm -hmm. well as we will have an active fly-in and Ooh. hopefully, hopefully we will have a uh, preemptive air show somewhat. Okay, cool. Unofficial official. Okay. That's yeah, awesome, I mean, actually. some of that's dependent on weather, right? Yeah. Right. It really is. And last year, we did have no weather on top of us, but unfortunately, there was weather completely around us, which did hinder our aircraft a little bit, but we still ended up with around 10 aircraft out there, and mm -hmm. we're hoping to expand that to 20 this year. Okay, that's really cool. So how do you find people to participate in these shows? I mean, are, are you joining like aircraft communities? Are you reach, How are you reaching out to people to get the airplanes and the cars as well? Uh, so mostly Facebook. Um, really? Oh, great. I join a lot of Facebook groups that are like aircraft enthusiasts, uh, trainers and different things like that. And on top of that, car shows and different things. So we use Facebook the most, but as well as we go to other events and we talk to people and get them excited about coming up to Jack's, especially when we go to Orlando and Miami and different things like that. Mm -hmm. So we try to show them what we can do up here in order to bring the community up here to expand Jacksonville's community in general. All right. So All what right. can spectators like um, expect when you see like a plane out there for a feature? Can they walk in on it or they, they can only peek around it? Like what are the rules and regs on something like that? Mm. So. There are certain aircrafts going to be out there that will be opened up. Uh, I know that Honda Jet brings out a couple of their jets. Cool. And they do allow for people to get inside them, check them out, look it over. Um, some of our smaller planes, that won't be necessarily allowed, but you'll be able to walk around them, get close and personal with them, just wouldn't necessarily be, coming, uh, be able to go yeah. inside. Yeah. Sure, sure, yeah. Uh, and the cars. Are, are, is there anything, like I said, just the amount of cars mm -hmm. and the and the wide range of vehicles um, just really blew my mind last year. So is there anything you're excited about that may be new to the scene this year? Like, I'm sure you've seen almost every vehicle that wants to be a part of this yeah. in some way, whether it's just pictures or whatever. Mm -hmm. But is there anything that you're like, boy, I can't wait for people to see this one out here this year? Uh, there's a couple of uh, cars that we've seen recently that have been coming out that haven't necessarily ever been out to things. Uh, Joe Duke has some really incredible woodies over there. Um, mm. He's one of the largest uh, hangar owners over at St. Augustine Airport. Oh, cool. And oh. so he's got a full restoration team that brings out wow. these beautiful, beautifully restored classics and woody cars. So. Wow, I didn't know that. Jeez. That's awesome. And it's not just classic cars, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we were talking before the show. I mean, Lamborghinis, Maseratis. Yeah. I mean, it's really... You run the gamut uh, of yeah. amazing vehicles. Is that kind of unique in the car show world? Because I feel like I go to car shows and it's like it's either a classic car show yeah. or it's a you know it's a foreign vehicle car mm -hmm. show. Um, but you kind of bring them all together. So that's always kind of been my objective. Is I like all different types of motorsports and different types of cars. So my whole objective from the beginning was to bring everybody together. We have drift cars out there. We have drag racing cars out there. We have exotics, like you said, classics, trucks, all of it. Yeah. Um, I know that personally, I like to see all of them. I don't want to just go to a show and see one type of vehicle or mm -hmm. something along those right, lines. Right, so yeah. we try to market to every single type of genre and every single type of motorsports event. So what okay. qualifies for a car to be able to be on display? I mean, I can't just pull up with my Jeep and be like, hey, I got a couple of ducks in my you know, driver. <laughs> I mean, is that, is that cool? Like, what, what qualifies? So that's a... That's an interesting question because obviously it's up to the people that are judging my cars online. So we have an online registration service okay. that you submit your photos and everything like that to us. And then we go through them and we like to see visually modified vehicles. Um, but you can list what modifications you have done because there are certain cars such as drag cars. They're not necessarily visually modified, but they have very heavily modified drivetrains and engines and different things like that. Sure, yeah. So we like to see all of the photos submitted and then my team of people 
that screen everybody, we go through and we make the best educated guess that we can in accepting people. Yeah. And I will say last year there were a couple there were a couple of Jeeps out there that <laughs> really? on, on like on the surface at eyesight, you're like, oh that's just a Jeep. But you get it, their sound systems mm -hmm. were unbelievable. Really? I mean, they create you know, they created like this sonic boom around oh, cool. them. It was just so impressive, man. <laughs> so there really is a, a little bit of everything. Is there a limit? Have you had to limit how many cars um, can be part of this? Yeah, so this year, because we did expand outside of the the area that we were last year, mm -hmm. um, and now that we're on the tarmac, we do have a little bit more of a limited space out there. Um, and so it's been brought down from 260 cars that we did last year to right around 150 to 200 cars. Cool. Um, our objective wasn't to slam everybody together. We want a very visually appealing show. And so we had to cut down the cars a little bit. Okay. So okay. Trey, in the history of you going and doing this, is there like one car that sticks out in your mind? You're like, God, I, I loved seeing that. Or that was a really cool e exhibition. Like, is there one that in, in the history of you doing car shows? Uh, there is this exoskeleton C7 Corvette that comes out sometimes. Okay. Uh, basically, all the body panels have been removed, and they have basically made an exoskeleton with wow. all the metal and everything like that. It's pretty cool. cool. Wow, man. Do you expect now, Are they going to be out at this one? Or? Uh, they did reach out, and they said that they're oh. hoping to be there, so we'll see. Fantastic. Okay. That's hey, that'd cool. be pretty cool, man. <laughs> Um, so what's your goal for this event this year? What are you trying to accomplish um, after having pulled off such a great and successful event last year? So our main objective is to honestly just continue to grow it and eventually have runway shut down and different things like that so that we can expand the car show side and we can expand the air show side and eventually have a legitimate and official air show that takes place during the event and to bring out bigger and crazier aircraft. Okay. Awesome. Got to shoot for those blue angels one day, man. Right? Be, that is the objective. <laughs> that would be amazing, <laughs> right? Um, now, give me the details. Um, when is this happening? Obviously, at the St. Augustine Airport. What are the times that people should be showing up? And also, there's going to be a little more parking out there this year, right? Yes. So, this year, the event is from 10 to 3. It, okay. Same as last year. Uh, June 15th. It'll be okay. Saturday of Father's Day weekend. Awesome. Okay. Um, Great. This year... Instead of you guys having to park so far away um, and walking almost a half mile up to the event, <laughs> yeah, walk um, that we do have it. our main area that the car show was in last year. That'll be our parking. And then okay. as well as any overflow will be on Gun Club Road. Okay. And we do have buses that will be going around in a loop at all times to pick up people that are walking back. Oh, that's so you great. won't have to walk a mile plus to get to the event. That's, that's awesome. huge. Yeah, shuttles are great. important. That's good. And you guys got some good discounts and raffles going on out there too. Yeah. Talk to me about the raffle. You're raffling off a of Vespa out there, right? Yeah. So one of our main presenting sponsors is Power Sports of St. Augustine. Oh, they're great. And they're going to be doing a $4,600 value Vespa wow. um, giveaway. Hey, it's a brand new Vespa. Dude. It's going to be $20 a ticket. And we'll be doing the drawing at 230 So anybody can enter it. You just go up to their tent at the event. I think it's like 20 oh, bucks huge. a ticket. I mean, that's yeah. amazing. Right. Yeah, that's a, yeah, definitely. Yeah, man. Get yourself a Vespa for Could 20 bucks. Could you imagine winning that? Jeez, that's amazing. That'd be amazing. Especially with gas prices <laughs> these days, man. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy quite a few tickets for that Vespa. I could yeah. use me a Vespa to get to work. <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> you should just see me out on the road scooting on down, man. <laughs> hey, Trey, Chiller Body's going to be out there, too. Can you tell them, aren't they doing some kind of special promotion for people? Yeah. So Chiller Body is a new sponsor that just came on board with us. Um, they have an amazing product, basically. It's this frozen disc, almost, that oh. gets recharged within 10 to 15 minutes of you putting it in a cooler, yeah. and you put it inside your hat, and theoretically, oh. it's designed to cool your entire body from your head down. Right? Dude, I and need this. <laughs> it's, they say it lasts like three to four hours of cooling on a single, technically, recharge, Yeah, and then you put it back in the cooler, and 10 to 15 minutes later, you're ready to go again. I and need so, this, especially for great festival idea. season. Yes. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Yeah. They're wow. offering a 10% discount to everybody that comes out that day. Cool. No, Dave, you got to pick one up out I there. got to get one. You yeah, grab definitely. One there, yes. Cool. Um, literally. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going to be really fun, man. Yeah, man. I am personally really looking forward to it. I really, really was so impressed with your event last year. Like I said, we had so much fun, man. And this is a great 
great father-son activity yeah. on Father's Day weekend. It really is. Do people need to buy tickets for this, or where can they? Where should they check you out to get more information online? So you can go to our website, mm. Staker Productions, or okay. you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. We're constantly posting updates on the event and everything that we have going on in the future as well. Um, but if you go to Staker Productions, you can register your vehicle. That's the only ticket you have to pre-buy. Okay. Um, we will have some availability that morning for people that necessarily didn't pre-buy their ticket because we do have a lot of the older crowd that doesn't right. like the internet and different things like that. Sure. So we reserve sure. spaces for them to make sure that we can get them That's out cool. there. That's cool. Yeah. That's great. Um, but as far as spectators or anything like that, spectator entry is free. Okay. But in our main parking lot, it is a... Twenty dollar fee to park. Okay, and okay. that's it. Yeah. So the rest of the show is free to you guys, though. Awesome. Okay, that's very cool. And you guys are expanding on things like food trucks, right? You're gonna yes. expand the number of kind of vendor options people have out there yeah. too. And if you guys have any food trucks that are listening, please hit us up. We are looking for a couple of more. Um, right now, we have two. We're looking to at least have six because last year we did about thirty six hundred spectators. Mm -hmm. My food trucks were overrun. Yeah. And this yeah. year, we really want to expand that and give people more options, one. But also, we're expecting a lot larger crowd this year. And I don't want to completely kill my food trucks. So. Right, totally, right. yeah. No, and, and that's great. If we do have anybody watching out there that's got a food truck, I'm yeah. telling you, this is a great event to be at. Great and, option, uh, too, yeah. You're, you're going to be slinging a lot of food out that window, for sure. Uh, Trey, thank you so much for sitting back in with us, man. Always yeah, man. a pleasure to talk to you. I, I'm I'm totally behind your event. Absolutely <laughs> love it, man. And uh, I'm excited to see more people out there this year. I appreciate it. I look yeah, forward man. to you guys. Absolutely. Thanks, Trey. Great Trey job. Trey Staker. I'm telling you, he does a great event. So man. fun. It's on Father's really, Day weekend. Smart. It is. Yeah. It's a great father-son activity. Yeah. It really, really is. Or father-daughter activity. I mean, hey. I mean, no lie, man. Right? A lot of girls out there really into cars. Really a lot into of vehicles. Fun. Yeah, man. It really is. An, an impressive event. You guys will have such a good time going yeah, out there. Cool. I would encourage you to plan on it. Um, you can also have a lot of fun sitting on an old town trolley. <sighs> Speaking of vehicles, there you go. They make it nice. They do make it nice. And if you're a St. John's County resident, you can always tour free uh, when you're there with a full fare adult paid guest to take advantage of that incredible offer. Just go to hometownpass.com. Sign up for your hometown pass. It's very easy. It takes only a few minutes. Davey's done it. So he's riding trolleys free every time he goes. I got to tell you, I get a, a lot of secret like things that come into my, uh, my inbox. Like uh, ghost tours sometimes are free complimentary because I'm part of Hometown oh. Pass. So there's lots of good little met free membership. Just sign up, hometownpass.com. It's worth it. That's great. Super easy. Old Town Trolley, they're the green trains. Uh, we love them. You will too, for sure. And I can't wait to see them this weekend. For over 45 years, Steve Chapman's All-American Air has been serving St. Augustine and St. John's County. They take great pride in providing quality service and installations, in turn, gaining a customer for life. All-American Air can match any price, but no one can match their quality and service. I'm telling you that right now. Our friends at uh, Steve Chapman's All-American Air will be ex take exceptional care of your home unit. When was the last time you had your service? Give them a call today, 904-461-0070. And of course, Bin 39 Wine Bar right there on the Orange Street side of St. George Street. Great little wine bar where you can sit out on their patio, enjoy a few glasses with friends, just really relax right away from the hustle and bustle of St. George Street. Really nice, yeah. It really is. And if you do find a bottle of wine that you love, you can take it home. Take it on home with you. Take it home. Impress the person you love. Right. And if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, but you still want to make a big impression. So easy. The staff out there is super kind, super friendly, and extremely knowledgeable on great wine. So you are going to find your new favorite wine out there at Bin 39. I promise. They got price points for everybody too. So yeah, check yeah. them out. Amazing. No matter what you're looking for, right. man, you'll find it there. All right. No matter what you're looking for, you're going to find a horror scope <laughs> oh, here to end the week. All right. Capricorn and Pisces on deck today. Rick, let's get some star channeling music, sir. Oh, boy. There it is. Oh, wow. Very good. I came in real quick. Oh, hot and heavy. Here Rick we go. Rick plays the same harp as Clay does. It's, it's interesting, amazing. yeah. Plays it just about as good as Clay does. They're too. like cherubs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rick the cherub. That's, that's a first. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely a first. Yeah. <laughs> Capricorn is where we will start. Capricorn, your work ethic will turn you into a robot today. Okay. <laughs> Tasks will blur into a monotonous grind, and your personal life will suffer. Remember, success isn't worth much if you have no one to share it with. Oh, who cares? <laughs> uh, Pisces, 
your dream world will clash violently with reality today. <laughs> Expect a harsh wake-up call that shatters your fantasies. Your whole life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is my whole life. It's time to face the real world, no matter how much you'd rather float away. Oh, yeah. And yeah, sail away. <laughs> there you go. Hey, I got to remind everybody, Jimmy Jam Rib Pickup yes, is uh, this Saturday, which tomorrow, June 1st. This is happening at 1625 Old Moultrie Road from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Don't be late because you know you're going to get it nice. So, yeah, they've got it wrapped up in foil for you. It literally is a drive through service. And if you've got some extra change, they're definitely looking for some donations for the Sargent family. Incredible people. So, yeah, just a big shout out to the Jimmy Jam Rib yeah. Pickup. Yep. Hey, Old Town Tattoo is having a tattoo gathering. I was like, okay, okay they're featuring 20 different artists from June uh, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Uh, this is the eighth anniversary. I had no idea this existed. This Ooh. is awesome. Uh, Saturday, 6 to 9 uh, p.m. Drinks, snacks, and raffles, of course. Uh, they're also doing a giveaway, giving away two gift certificates towards a tattoo or two lucky, for two lucky people that will share their Instagram post coming up for on this uh, eighth year anniversary. So yeah, check that out. Old Town uh, Tattoo, St. Augustine, pretty cool. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. I need some new ink, man. Yeah, man, I'm telling you that people are shopping around. This might yeah. be a good way to save some coin, too. Yeah. Hey, Horseplay is looking for some people. Join the Dream Team. They're seeking volunteers and skilled physical therapists um, with a little bit of experience to join their team. Reach out to horseplaytherapycenter at gmail.com to learn more. We love them. They're an exceptional organization. And if you're looking for a job or, or need to volunteer, this is, the way, this is where to go. Yeah, amazing organization, yeah. man. They do a lot for a lot of people here. Hey, heard from our buddy Trey. Join them for Marineland Market on June 1st. Just save that date, I guess, that Saturday. This uh, time is 8 to 2 p.m. He was talking about this when he was here in the studio last time. Raga yeah. Surf Cafe apparently is doing some really, really cool stuff out there. So check out that market. Uh, go down to Marineland or check them out on their Facebook page and you get all the info for you. Okay. Yeah. Very exciting, man. Yeah, man. We don't hear much about Marine Land, so glad to start yeah. getting some more Marine Land. We have a connection there. now with Trey. That's yes. right. <laughs> wow, man. Good dude. Yeah. Uh, hey, speaking of good people, mm. Magnolia Family Dentistry. So proud to have this group uh, as a great partner of ours here on 904 Now. Um, they are redefining what it means to visit the dentist in St. John's County and St. Augustine. They really are. Led by the dynamic Paula Rodriguez. Phew. Great lady. Yeah. Magnolia Family Dentistry is not just about clean teeth. It is about a clean and extraordinary experience. You're going to love it in there. You will experience the difference at Magnolia Family Dentistry, where healthy smiles meets exceptional care. Schedule your appointment today by calling 904-824-0990. Check them out. Give them a chance. You're going to love the experience out there. Their commitment to excellence shines through in every aspect of their care, from routine checkups to advanced procedures. They do it all. Dr. Rodriguez and her dedicated team provide a warm, caring atmosphere where your health and happiness are the very highest priority. Uh, check them out. They're in the Flagler Whitehall Park at 108 Whitehall Drive. 32086. Yeah, and 10 minutes six. from everybody. Very nice. Yeah, man. Also very nice panache. Oh. They make you feel special. Especially really this do. summer. Yeah. Yeah, man. We all need to feel a little better this summer for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, they opened their doors to be a cut above the rest in 1987. Their mission? To care for their team, their guests, and their community from scalp to soul and bring joy to the world one service at a time. The difference over there at Panache is their carefully chosen and highly trained staff that's always there to exceed your expectations. Same goes for their elegant salon space. Great atmosphere out there. They also, of course, align with Aveda's mission. They're an Aveda salon, and their mission is uh, an ethical and sustainable business practice, and their high fashion aesthetic. Uh, check them out today. Go to getpanache.com. And when the United Way of St. John's opened in 1957, Troy was born. Oh, he was an old man by then. <laughs> it was known as the community <laughs> chest, of course. And that was the first year they raised 48000 Well, United Way has changed a lot, but their focus haven't with a total impact of over $3 million annually. They continue to fight for the areas of health, education, and financial stability of every person in our community. Check them out, unitedway-sjc.org. All right, sir. All right, Times Burnout Signs created an unintended humor here. Uh, I love these kinds of pictures. Oh, uh, so this first one is MILF Plaza. MILF Plaza, you sign might, me up. Yeah, you might need to go here, Get one-way ticket. There. there it is, there MILF Plaza. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, do drugs. Oh, okay. <laughs> London drugs. <laughs> there you go. That was pretty blunt. Very clear. Next up, Stan's Nuts. 
Oh, all right. <laughs> salty, all right. very salty. Yes, yeah. different. Next up, Mike's hard on. Oh boy, oh, there geez. it is. That's one for the kids. Wow. There it is. Okay, next okay. up, hell gets your gas yeah. in hell. That's, That's what it. it feels like to get gas these days for sure. All right. Next up, Die Mart. Oh, oh <laughs> coffins. I'm guessing they. Pardon sell. me. Don't go there after yeah. eleven. Yep. Next up, Golden Oral. It's a wonderful oh. buffet. I, oh. The sneeze guard really does help. It's nice. Okay. Yeah. Or you can get dessert at Colon Cafe. No, thanks. Mm, sweeping no, the nation. Thanks. A lot of fiber. They're now hiring, just letting you know. Uh, hey, have you ever been to the Peedway? Uh, I don't think I'm going to make a trip out right, there. Right. Great gas Anytime prices, soon. though. Just saying. Hey, it's my barbecue. F. Dave's Barbecue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. There you go. Watch That's... out, Spencer. I'm coming for your neck, baby. <laughs> Good stuff, man. <laughs> Great show today. Thank you for bringing in Trey. Thank yes, sir. You, uh, thank you, Trey, for hanging out with us. Great event. You guys got to plan on going out to that. Thank you to Clay and Rick out there for pressing all the buttons today. And you guys out there for watching, have a great weekend, and we will talk to you Monday. Bye, everybody.